The anime lover, I am back with another episode of The Eminence in Shadow 2. But before we dive into the episode, I would like to thank you for the support. Because of your support we have hit the 500 plus subscriber on this channel. And guys keep supporting because next milestone I am aiming for is too far. But with your support I know I will achieve. And guys let me know if my content is not good. I think because of that most of you not subscribe and don't like video. I will try to improve it. So friend without wasting any time let's start the video. At the beginning of the episode, some thugs are shown who have taken control of the Mitsugoshi transport train and are holding some girls hostage. One of the thugs says that your company is making a lot of money. At this time, the things you have will be around 100 million yen. Your business is doing well, so our boss thinks he should stop your business. After saying this, he tears the girl's clothes with a knife. The girl says, your boss. Then the thug says that you've heard of a guy named Garter. He buys and sells everything in Midgard, and you've angered him. The girl says, that can't be true. Garter is a very respectable person. Everyone respects him because he is the president of Major Corporate Alliance, and he is a follower of divine teachings. He has donated to many sizable churches. He's not the kind of person who would hire thugs like you to stop our business. On this, that thug says, people aren't always what they seem. Even good people have a dark side. Garter became so rich by hiring people like us, the girl replies, it doesn't matter because what you're telling us, we already know. Then we see Alpha coming with her Shadow Garden members. Alpha says that we understood your plan beforehand. Later, we find out that the three girls were also members of the Shadow Garden. Then Alpha orders the Shadow Garden members to attack those thugs, and all the Shadow Garden members defeat the thugs. After this, a girl reports to Alpha that we have reduced the enemy's legitimate ranks in this operation. So, Alpha says that you're right, people from the underworld linked to the cult will reveal themselves soon. And after this she says, the war is about to begin. After that, we are shown Kagenio's friends wearing clothes from the Mitsugoshi brand and flexing in front of people. They say, girls will be impressed by these clothes and their dream will come true. Kagenio, upon seeing their clothing designs, thinks that Ida must have made them. First Gamma, then Beta, then Epsilon. It seems like everyone is doing something. That's when we see the sticker with the logo on the Skell's clothes peeling off. Seeing this, they both get worried and say, if this design comes off the clothes, it will look like cheap fabric. Then they think that if they remove the logo and stick it on other clothes, those two will become branded clothes. When Skell removes the logo from the clothes, they realize that the logo sticker was stuck on clothes from a useless brand. Seeing this, they both say that we have been deceived. After this, we are shown Kagenu's clothes, which are actually branded. Then Kagenu thinks, if looked at my clothes, Alpha makes my clothes, everything I wear is like my past life. Kagenu also says that the people he sees on the streets wearing suits, he thought it was a culture, but it's all the work of Alpha and other girls. They are using my past life information to increase their market share, but the company competing with them won't be happy about it. These people are making money from my past knowledge, but it's okay, everything might end someday. Saying this, Kagenu leaves, but while leaving, Kagenu says, what is mine, I am going to take it back. We see Kagnu standing in an unknown place, wearing a different outfit and a mask on his face. Kagnu says, from today, I am a super elite secret agent. By tonight, my name will be known all over the world. After this, we are shown the scene of Shadow and Yakumi. Yakumi calls Shadow by his name, but Shadow told her that he had abandoned that name. From today, my name is John Smith. Yakumi tells Shadow, I'm glad you're joining us. Shadow replied, it benefits me too, that's why I'm doing this. Yakumi says, that you are keep our relationship purely based on profit. Shadow replied that, you're doing the same thing, stop hiding. Yakumi says, fine. Yakumi tells Shadow that recently Garter had organized a meeting of major corporate alliance. They were strengthening their measures against Mitsugoshi, and she says that Mitsugoshi will soon be closed, our plan will not change. Shadow says, when Mitsugoshi and major corporate alliance are busy destroying each other, we'll take everything. Yakumi says, Shadow, you have to take action in our place, but stay alert because behind major corporate alliance is an underworld swordsman called Gatton the Sword Devil. Before anyone knows, he had control over MCIA, I know him well, anyone who comes in his way, he eliminates. Then we see a scar on Yakumi's back, and this scar must have been given by Gatton. Then Yakumi says, I will defeat Gatton by my own hands. After this, they reach the train station, and Shadow is getting off the train. While leaving, Yakumi says to Shadow, I'm looking forward to seeing the battle for control over the market in the royal capital, and after all this fight ends, the money will be bought with blood. Let's see in the end, who will stamp. Upon this, Shadow says, I will destroy everything and rebuild it. After saying this, Shadow leaves. After this, we see a scene in the market where Garter Corporation was selling cheap goods. We even see Kagnus and his friends come there for shopping. Kagnu also watches all this and wonders not just Garter Corporation, 
but all the corporations are selling goods at a low price. Kagenio says that there are sales going on in the shopping district. This means they want to defeat Mitsugoshi. It implies that Alpha and the other girls have gone quite far. Moreover, these people are selling exclusive products without any local distributor's permission, and these exclusive products are only available in their company's stores. Because of this, the downtown shopping district is also angry at them. Yakumi was right, Mitsugoshi will face hatred from all corporate industries, and they will try to destroy Mitsugoshi. But I will destroy them before that and rebuild it. I will use a lot of capital to start a new corporation in the market. I will invite Alpha and other girls for its upper management, and I just need to change the name, so that Mitsugoshi will be reborn again. When all this is over, the girls will understand why I did this. After this, we see that Kagnu's friends pulled a lot on the clothes in the sale, causing them to tear, and now they have to pay for them. Seeing the bill, Kagnu says, this bill seems wrong to me. Skell asks, what seems wrong? To which Kagnu says, I can't remember the design on this note at all. Then Tatu tells him that this note is new and has been released by major corporate alliance. That's why the sale is happening today. So that these people can promote this note. Kagnu asks, which notes were used before? So Tatu shows him the note and tells him that it's from Mitsugoshi Bank. Skell explains that we could only use it in Mitsugoshi's storefronts before, but now we can use it everywhere in the city. After hearing this, Kagnu wonders, have the girls created their own bank? Kagnu remembers when he was little, he told Beta and other girls about banks and credit creation. But he doesn't remember it very well, but that conversation ended quickly. But those people used that information and created their own bank. They not only started a bank but also issued their own currency. That's when Skell says they are inspiring copies. Hearing this, Kagnu asks, copies. After that, Kagnu starts looking at both notes. Kagnu sees that Mitsugoshi's band note is printed with multicolor and has carefully placed watermarks. But this note from the major corporate alliance has crude printing and a simple design. After that, Kagnu remembered when he was a child, he had a dream. He had a 1,000 yen bill, and he thought he could make many more bills using a copier. But he gave up that idea because the store owner got mad at him. Then he declared that he's a super secret agent, and he can make his dream come true. Kagnu begins running away with the bill, and his friends also running after him. In the night, Shadow again went to meet Yakumi again. Shadow shows him magic, turning one gold coin into multiple gold coins, saying he wants to do something similar. Yakumi asks if he's talking about paper money, meaning notes. Shadow says yes, it doesn't have weight like coins, but it's still currency. People use coins for small transactions. The question arises, who will handle the weight of these coins in the end? Everyone can use notes. Let me explain with an example. If you keep 10,000 yen in the bank, you'll get a 10,000 yen note in return, which you can use to buy goods. But here's the strange thing. In bank also, you have 10,000 yen and, in your hand, also you have 10,000 yen, then it becomes 20,000 yen. As long as the original 10,000 yen doesn't circulate in the market, there won't be any contradiction. But if the bank uses the deposited 10,000 yen to give money to someone else, the problem arises. Now Yakumi says that Mitsugoshi Bank will have more money, so they'll have better opportunities because merchants will want to borrow more money. The bank will fulfill their demand by giving them paper money. Shadow agrees, finding paper money more convenient than carrying heavy coins in a wallet. It means if 10,000 yen is kept aside, it multiplies further because no one uses it. Mitsugoshi Bank will profit from this because they will charge interest on the money. Hearing this, Yakumi admires Mitsugoshi, thinking about their leader who came up with this idea. She wants to meet him. Shadow gives both notes to Yakumi and suggests comparing them. Yakumi notices one has a watermark, and the other doesn't. Shadow agrees, saying the design on the major corporate alliance note is roughly printed and is easy to fake. So, Shadow smiles, saying they will create fake money and make a lot of profit from it. So, Yakumi says to Shadow, do you know the notes of major corporate alliance are still circulating in royal capital? If we make copies of them, the authorities might try to trace it. But if we try in small amounts, maybe we can do it without getting caught. But I don't think we can make much money from this. Hearing this, Shadow becomes nervous, and the coins in his hands fall. Shadow approaches Yakumi and says, do you really think so? Yakumi says, I understand your plan. You want to catch people using fake money, making them lose trust in notes. People will quickly run to the bank to convert it into coins because we have a lot of money in the bank. This way, we'll make a significant profit. Yakumi tells Shadow, so this was your plan from the beginning. Shadow stays silent because he never had such a plan, Yakumi is just making it up. Shadow asks Yakumi, is that what you think? Yakumi, feeling a bit nervous because of Shadow's presence, and then says, yes, I was thinking the same. There is no flaw in this plan. After that, they reach the station, and Shadow leaves. After Shadow leaves, Yakumi says, Shadow was testing my sincerity. It's good that I didn't give the wrong answer under pressure. After that, we are shown a cart, and on that cart, we see two members of Shadow Garden standing. 
Then we see Kagnu, who is sitting comfortably and having his meal. Kagnu starts thinking that he has to hide John Smith's identity and complete his mission to battle Mitsugoshi and major corporate alliance. He wonders how cool it is to betray his organization to save them. Here, Shadow is also feeding Delta. After the meal, they are about to leave. Delta sits on Kagnu's back and says, I can smell the scent of a fox from you. Hearing this, Kagnu told her he went to hunt a fox. Later Kagnu asks Delta what she was doing there. Delta replies, Alpha told me to hunt the bandits. Kagnu says, forget that, you need to meet Alpha. Delta gets scared and says, I completely forgot about this task. Alpha will be really angry with me. Kagnu tells her, go meet him quickly. Delta asks, what about the bandits? Hearing this, Kagnu himself realizes that Delta reminded him of his past life's pet, John. In the next scene, we see that Gatton realizes another failure. Garter tells Gatton that their private soldiers are stronger than expected. Gatton says, the bandits were useless. This time, I will send Clover after them. Hearing this, Gator is shocked and asks if it's the same Clover, the elite assassin, that he personally selected. If you put them on the job, all of Mitsugoshi's secrets will be ours. In the next scene, we see Delta, who is fighting the bandits on one side. On the other side, Shadow is collecting all their money and treasures. A person stops Delta and says, You're Sarah, right? Do you remember me? I'm Zabra, your big brother. How are you alive? I heard you were possessed and dad killed you. Delta replies, I'm good at playing hide and seek. Then Jabra says, I'm your big brother, so you won't kill me, right? I work for the legendary garden. After hearing this, Delta stabbed Jabra straight and says, I don't need a weak brother like you. Seeing this, Shadow asks Delta that what she did was right after all he was his brother. Delta replies, yes, I'm sure. Weak people tarnish my family's name. My dad is the chief of our clan, and he has many wives, which means he has more children than we can count. If one child dies, it doesn't matter. Weak people die. And these people are not enough, we create more people. That's the law of our clan. After hearing this, Shadow says, what strange people. Now, Shadow and Delta are leaving, and Delta is sitting on Shadow's back. Delta says to Shadow, I have an idea. She tells Shadow to become their chief. Shadow only needs to defeat Delta's father, and after defeating him, he will become the chief. Delta tells Shadow to give birth to many children, and their clan will be the strongest, and he will have many wives. Upon which Shadow replies that he had no interest in that. After this, we see Gatton scene. Garter informs Gatton that Jabara has been killed, and for the past few months, they have been losing valuable and powerful people. If this continues, it will impact their personnel. We have invested a lot of money to establish our bank and print our own notes, and it will require even more money. Upon hearing this, Gatton tells Garter to remember that he is in a position in the city from where he can control all the commerce. Garter replies that he hasn't forgotten. Gatton then says, very well, you need to follow his orders. If you recall, Jabara was the weakest among the Clover's members. Summon the other three Clovers, strengthen our offense against Mitsugoshi, and obtain all of Mitsugoshi's trade secrets. Gatton talked to himself that Mitsugoshi is tougher than he thought. Now he understands why Colt considers Mitsugoshi a threat. And this where episode ends. So friends, that's for the today video. But before you go don't forget to like the video, and if you are new to the channel subscribe. See you guys in the next video.